Hey everyone, this is Nurse Ryan, and today we're going to be learning about Kussmaul's breathing. Kussmaul's breathing is an abnormal breathing pattern. So instead of this nice, steady, normal breathing pattern called eupnea, Kussmaul's breathing looks a bit like this. It is a type of hyperventilation, characterized by both deep and rapid respirations, and it sounds something like this. So what causes Kussmaul's breathing to occur? Well, Kussmaul's breathing typically occurs when there is a buildup of some acidic substance in the blood. This is known as acidemia. And what does Kussmaul's breathing aim to accomplish? Why does the body do it? Well, by breathing deeper and faster, the lungs can actually help to get rid of the excess acid. And if you think it sounds weird that your body can breathe out acids, then you're not alone. So as you know, we of course breathe out carbon dioxide with every breath. And although carbon dioxide is not technically an acid on its own, it can turn into an acid when it's in our bloodstream. And that acid is called carbonic acid, which forms in our blood when carbon dioxide mixes with water. Now, I won't go into all the details about this reaction, but the basic idea is this. The more we breathe, and more specifically the more we exhale, the more our body can remove excess acid. So deep and rapid breathing, or Kussmaul's breathing, occurs when our blood is acidic, again in cases of acidemia, to help get rid of that excess acid. Another type of acid buildup that can occur is something called diabetic ketoacidosis. And as the name suggests, this is something that occurs in diabetes. So I'll try to do a quick summary of diabetic ketoacidosis here. Without enough insulin, the body starts to break down fat instead of glucose. This is not ideal, and the breakdown of fat leads to a byproduct called ketones. Ketones end up in the blood and are actually acidic in the blood. So basically, with diabetic ketoacidosis, we end up with elevated ketones in the blood, thereby increasing the acidity of the blood. And again, Kussmaul's breathing helps to eliminate acid in the blood with deep and rapid respirations. So diabetic ketoacidosis is another cause of Kussmaul's breathing. To treat Kussmaul's breathing, we have to treat the underlying cause of the acidosis. If we can maintain a balanced pH, there would be no need for the body to continue Kussmaul's breathing. So for example, in metabolic acidosis, administering bicarbonate may be required to balance out the pH. For diabetic ketoacidosis, administering insulin may be required to allow glucose to be used for energy instead of fats, decreasing the amount of acidic ketones being produced. And these are just some of the many possible cases. And that's about it for the basics of Kussmaul's breathing. If this video has helped you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or would like me to review a specific drug or topic, please let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching.